The National IOR Centre of Norway was awarded by the Research Council of Norway after a national competition, and the centre started up in December 2013. The centre's goal is to develop new knowledge and technology in order to increase recovery beyond projections under today's field operation plans. In order to do this, we rely on young and innovative researchers. IOR is important because we are still depending on oil until the green change can commence. There's a high energy demand, uh, so we need to be efficient. We need these methods to again increase the oil production because we cannot just stop producing oil right away. Training and education of young researchers is a big part of the activity in the National IOR Centre of Norway. I am working with the environmental aspects of polymer flooding. Polymer flooding is a technology where you inject polymers into the reservoir to push the oil out, quite literally. We don't really know the long-term consequences of polymers in the environment, and that is why I'm focusing on the environmental fate and effects of polymers in EUR. In order to highlight the importance of young researchers, the Shevland Award was presented at IOR Norway 2016. A total of 24 PhD candidates had sent in their posters and presented at one-minute stand-up sessions. What we present here is an improved numerical scheme. For this purpose, I'm using negatively charged nanofiltration membranes. Raman spectroscopy is extremely quick, cheap, and non-destructive. We proposed the idea of introducing nanotechnology. If you want to see some really nice pictures of these EOR effects, come see my poster in the hallway. Thank you. In total, there are 16 PhD candidates working in the center. The candidates are divided across both research themes and all seven tasks in the center. My job as a PhD candidate is to, to study the EOR mechanism at pore and micro and nano scale. So really just to look into the rock, what happens when we flood with a non-equilibrium brine and uh, to study how these mineralogical alterations can affect the mechanical parameters of your rock. We need to understand how these mechanisms affect the recovery of the oil, which is, of course, the main point here. The close collaboration, multidisciplinary research that is being practiced in the center provides a unique opportunity for the candidates to see their work in a larger context. My thesis is primarily focused on uh, establishing a relationship between the wettability and the mechanical strength. Chalk is a very funny material. Its mechanical strength is not dictated by the framework or the cementation at its intergranular context, but by the pore fluid composition. So my thesis is basically focused on establishing and closing the causal gap between the initial wettability and the injected pore fluid composition that ultimately dictates the mechanical integrity of chalk. My job is important because the results from my project will help in reducing and subduing the operational costs in the designing of the future platforms. The centre provides guidance from a team of world-leading experts on IOR and EOR. The close cooperation with the 12 user partners from the industry makes the foundation for an exclusive arena for close contact with both academia and industry for the PhD candidates. I'm working with uh, polymers. I'm doing uh, experiments on polymer flooding in porous media. It's important because we need to recover more from the reservoir, so we need to develop new models for polymer flooding, so I'm doing experiments so we can optimize the models. The first Shevland Award for the best PhD poster presentation goes to Irene Ringen from University of Stavanger. I like working in the center because uh, it's a collaboration between different groups. It's very interesting to be a part of that. We really have a good environment uh, for challenging each other and learning from each other from a great number of cultures. There is a very good collaboration, so if I have any doubts, I have. I'm very free to go there and ask someone. It's always good to share the knowledge amongst ourselves, and there are people who have 25, 30 years of experience. It's always good to learn more and new things from them. 